Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Out on a walk with my boy Stan. Stan, say hello. He's not interested. Today is Wednesday, so it's our day off. So I'm gonna be taking you through a day in the life of what it's like for me on my day off. It's gonna involve a lot of family time, uh, a lot of relaxation. I'm gonna take you through the whole thing. Uh, we're gonna take Stan to the park in the morning. I've got a podcast to record with one of the RSL players. Uh, this afternoon we're going to go up to Snowbird up in the mountains, get some really cool footage from up there. And then this evening uh, we're going out to a really nice restaurant for my birthday. Uh, it's the first chance we've got to do since Sunday. So uh, yeah, it's a jam-packed day. I hope you guys enjoy the video. being selfish. What are you doing Leo? You say hello to everyone? You say hello? No? What about you Mama? You want to say hello? So just at the park now, um, a lot of time as a, obviously as a professional footballer, we spend a lot of time away from home, whether we're traveling on the road uh, to games. So any chance we get on a day off, I like to spend time with the family. So coming to the park, is a must on a day off just to clear the head get that relaxation um, you know a physical break as well as a mental break so we're gonna head back now head back home uh, have a little brunch together as a family uh, I'll see you guys back at home what are you doing we're gonna do a little transition so we'll take everyone back to when we're eating brunch you ready one two three and we made it back family brunch time I've got an omelette with some turkey sausage, avocado and tomatoes. Mama, what have you got? I've got some chocolate granola. Granola. Big man, what have you got? You got toast, avocado and tomatoes. Is it nice? Yeah. And then we got Stanley down here, very tired from the park. So, we're gonna eat this. Uh, I've got my podcast when Leo's napping and then we're gonna head up to Snowbird later. So I'll catch you later on in the day. Really looking forward to this podcast. Um, I'm actually doing it with a current player in our club, uh, Nadam Onua, who plays for RSL. And I grew up watching Nadam in England when he was playing in the Premier League. He had a really good career with Man City, he came through the Manchester City Academy and then he had a really good career with QPR and then met him for the first time last year um, whilst I was with the Monarchs. He, he came to play for RSL and uh, he's an absolute top guy. He's one of the nicest guys in football. And um, yeah, so on the way to the podcast now, I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, uh, Nadem, meet YouTube, YouTube meet Nadem. Certainly guys. Uh, yeah, I mean these guys know all about you, I've told them. So uh, yeah, I mean, why did you start the podcast? What was your... Uh, so I'd been, I'd been on a few podcasts here and uh, I, was, I was enjoying them. And I think going forward for me, once I, once I retire, I'd like to do something in media. Mm. So I thought, you know, I didn't go to them and ask, can I do it? But they said, well, we think that you're good enough, so why don't you try and do one yourself? Yeah. So I owned an art for a little while, but then I thought, yeah, why not? Because then when I'm done here, I'll have a body of work which I can present to people should mm -hmm. I want to try and actually have a serious job within that industry. Mm -hmm. And also, I just like talking to people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I thought, yeah, why not? Well, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, we're about to start now. I'm going to post the full podcast on a separate episode. I know you guys have, have been asking a lot of questions about my path to pro and stuff like that. So that'll be all in this interview. We're about to start now, so I'll catch you guys after. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Uh, we just came out of the studio now. 
Had a really good time with Nadem. Um, again, like I say, he's a top guy. Had really good fun talking to him. Probably the most enjoyable podcast I've ever done. Uh, what I'm going to do on the next episode of on my YouTube channel, I'm going to post the full podcast. So it's going to answer a lot of questions for you guys. My path to pro, um, how I came over to the States, how why I started the YouTube channel, all those sorts of questions that you guys have been asking me are all going to be answered on the podcast episode. So I'm going to head home now. Uh, really looking forward to my birthday meal tonight. Um, we're going to head to Snowbird this afternoon. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the way to Snowbird. All right, so we're about five minutes away from Snowbird now. Um, Snowbird is a place in, in Utah that is, it's like a ski resort. So in the winter, a lot of people go up, but you can also go in the summer and throughout the year. And we've never been before, but apparently it's got incredible scenery. Um, and that's why we're so lucky to live in a place like Utah, you know, Salt Lake City. It has so many incredible scenic views. So it's the perfect opportunity on a day off to go up there and again relax and just take mind off football and um, spend some quality family time so five minutes away now uh, be able to get some cool shots we'll see you up at the top of the mountain Just look at this view. I'm just good at caring too much. I'm just good at caring too much. Is it too much to ask that you be all mine? I never was good at. I'm just good at caring too much Anyone living in the Salt Lake area, I'd 100% recommend coming here to Snowbird. Absolutely incredible place. There's such like a tranquility up here. Um, yeah, I think this is, if I was living near here, I think I'd be up here every single day. Playing with the snow. First time you've seen snow in a while, isn't it? What do you think to up here, mama? Beautiful. What do you think, Leo? It's amazing what uh, the height does, the altitude. Um, you feel yourself walking around and feel out of breath up here. It's crazy. Um, and with the snow up here, it's a long time since we've seen snow. We're going to head back down on the tram and uh, we'll see you guys at the bottom. Yeah. 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 YouTube. So I just pulled out the car park now. Um, it really does make you think about how fortunate you know we are to, to live in such a beautiful place. You know, on, on the off day, you know, the, the, the rare off days we do get, it's you know, we feel really lucky to be able to, to come to a place like this and it's only half an hour away from, from where we live. At the same time, you know, all, all the hard work that, that I've put in over the years to become a professional footballer and 
um, this is one of the huge benefits the fact that we get to travel the world and, and live in beautiful places and um, you know feel very fortunate for that so we're just heading back down now back home uh, then gonna head out for my birthday meal and I feel like so much has been going on today um, but really looking forward to that as well as if the day couldn't get any better so I'll see you guys on the way to the restaurant So just leaving for Volta's Osteria, downtown Salt Lake City. What I feel looking on flames. Are you looking forward to it? I am very excited. Yes, we got dressed up for the occasion. I uh, went for the little suits and the rolled up shorts. Uh, yeah, so heading to dinner now. Really looking forward to it. I'll, uh, I'll take some videos inside the restaurant. So I'll see you there. Just coming out of Volta's now, uh, had a really good meal, had a fantastic day, um, very busy day off. As you can see, like we like to do stuff on days off, we don't just like to sit at home. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you've all enjoyed seeing what it's like uh, for me on a day off and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>